One of the very first things I asked myself when I was presented with a digital multimeter like this is how do I take a direct current measurement with this? And today I'd like to explore that a little bit with you and I'll show you how it works with two different kinds of meters because the setup, or not the setup, but uh, how you access the mode is slightly different in each one of these and we'll do both of those. Uh, before we do that though, I always like to ask a few questions of myself. And so talking about DC voltage, first of all, what is the voltage level we'll be dealing with? And in our case, we're going to be measuring a nine volt battery. If we get above 50 volts nominal, we have to start thinking about personal protective gear and, and equipment, and we're not going to go there. The other thing is with batteries, if you're working with large battery banks, you may have to consider the possibility of a large arc flash because you have so much current there, but we are not getting any, anywhere near that, so we won't even talk about that. The other thing is, with a direct current measurement, you have to worry about circuit polarity. It is polarity sensitive, and we'll talk about that. And then also, uh, we need to know how each of these digital multimeters uh, is, is how you select the, the proper measurement mode. And then we'll also take a look at where the uh, leads are placed on the meters. And without further ado, let's see, take some measurements. We're going to start our first direct current uh, voltage measurement with a Fluke 117 meter. And it's an interesting meter because there are actually two different ways you can go about getting a DC voltage measurement. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at our lead placement. And you can see the red lead goes here in the volt ohm port, and then the common lead accepts the black. And remember, we said this is polarity sensitive, and I'll show you that here in a moment. So the very first thing we'll do is take a voltage measurement over on the normal voltage set, excuse me, setting. And if you look, it's over here. And you can see it shows V, and it shows a solid line and a dotted line. And, and that's for direct current, solid direct current, or a pulsating, pulsating direct current, which we will see in other videos. That is a, a true thing. You'll notice we do get a little fluctuation here, which is really kind of a ghost voltage because this is such a sensitive instrument. And so now it kind of settles down when I quit moving it. And to take the voltage measurement, since we're already set up, I put it into the correct mode, I can simply place the leads on the battery terminals and see what we get. And I will go with the proper polarity first, and by the way, you should be able to see up here, it says VDC on here. So it tells you you're taking direct current or voltage measurement. And we're getting 9.57 volts DC and uh, we're at the proper polarity. But what happens if we reverse our leads? What happens? When I do that, you see now it says minus 9.57. It gives you the proper uh, voltage measurement, but it's telling you that you have the reverse polarity and that's exactly what a, a good quality meter will do for you. And it's that simple on that mode. But this, this uh, digital multimeter also has a second uh, low impedance mode and I'll switch to that. And what's interesting about this mode is it uh, will measure either DC or AC from the same setting or the same mode, whereas the other uh, on the other side of the meter, you have to be set for direct voltage here. Here, it will do either uh, AC or DC voltage, and we'll take a measurement with the proper polarity again. And you can see we're getting 9.3 volts DC, it says. And if I reverse the leads, we have reverse polarity. It gives us the same measurement, but it has a minus sign telling us that we have reverse polarity. We are now set up with the Klein MM1000, and it's slightly different in the way it functions. Uh, and you can see we still have our leads put in the same places. We have the red lead in, in the voltage port, and then the common lead is in the, and the black lead is in the common. Still, all the other rules apply. It is voltage, or excuse me, it is polarity sensitive. So on this particular meter, the, there are two voltage modes at the same switch position. So this one is automatically defaults to an AC voltage, and you can see you can see the little AC symbol up there, I hope, telling you that you have defaulted to that. But in orange, it shows a solid line for the DC uh, voltage measurement. So if I hit the select button, the orange select, it now switches and it's showing a solid flat line and also a, 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 a dashed line to show that it will accept a pulsating DC signal also. And now we'll take a measurement, just like we did with the last meter. And this time we'll try to 
go with the proper polarity first. Swip my leads around, so here we go. And you can see we're getting 9.56 DC. And this one also has a bar graph. You can see the bar graph on the, on the bottom. You can see it working there. So it's 9.56. If I reverse the leads and go with reverse polarity, it should be just like the other meter. And you can see it shows now minus 9.56, just like the other one. And a direct current measurement, or excuse me, a, a voltage measurement is just that simple. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out the links we have below. Come back for new videos. We should be adding content each week. And finally, visit the Taking Measure website.